Good morning, everybody, and thank you all for joining us this morning. Thank you for joining us. Time for Change Ministries. We just want to put a shout out to you for all of our viewers on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, wherever you may have found us. We want to thank you for joining us this morning. We want to thank you because without you, there would be no us. We want to hope that this work from Pastor Les encourage you, enrich you, and empower you for what you're called to do for the name of Jesus Christ and for what you have called to do for your life for God. We want to take a moment just now just to give a word of prayer out to those that may be suffering COVID-19 and those that may be sick or those that may be even discouraged this morning. We're going to pray for you and we're going to get you engrossed in the word of God. Lord, we thank you for who you are. We thank you for your blessings. We thank you for all that you're doing for us. We thank you, Lord, because you're a healer, that you're a way maker, and that you're a miracle worker. We're trusting you today, God, that you would do exactly what your word said, that you would be the healer, that you would be a provider for us, that you would do all that you said you would be, that you would be the great I am in our lives today. We trust that you, Lord, will get the glory from all of this. And we thank you for this ability and this opportunity to come to your people through this media station, through all that you've given us, the utensils, oh God, to reach this world, to reach the lost and bring them closer to you. God, we love you and we thank you for what you're going to do today in this service with this word from the man of God. It's time for change ministry and Pastor Laz. Praise the Lord, everyone. Welcome again to It's Time for Change 12 Ministries. Um, we're excited for our first service and we're going to go right into the word. Um, I have a word of encouragement I feel for today and I want us to just listen to the word of God and let's go and see what God's going to do. I want to read today out of the book of John chapter 20 verse 19 through 23. The book of John chapter 20 verse 19 through 23. The Bible says this, Then the same day at evening, being the first day of the week, when the doors were shut where the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews, came Jesus and stood in the midst and said to them, Peace be unto you. And when he had said so, he showed them his hands and his side. Then were the disciples glad when they saw the Lord. Then said Jesus to them again, Peace be unto you. As my Father has sent me, even so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said unto them, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Whosoever sins you remit, they are remitted unto them. And whosoever sins you retain, they are retained. For, for the next 15 or 20 minutes, I just want to speak a word of encouragement to us. Uh, I just want to let us know out in, in social media that it is not over. That's what I want to encourage you today. It is not over. The Lord said it is not over. The disciples, they had seen the cruel crucifixion of Jesus Christ. They had watched them nail nails in his hand. They had watched him nail nails in his feet. They had watched all this. They even saw Jesus die. And when they saw him die, all their hope, everything that they had was gone. They said, you know, basically uh, in the way their demeanor that it is over. Our Savior is gone. But it wasn't over then and it's not over now. I want to tell somebody this morning out here that the doctors may have told you that it's over. The lawyer may have told you that I can't help you anymore. Uh, your friends may have you know, ostracized you. All these things may have happened to you. But I want you to know that until God says it's over, it's not over. There's always hope because Jesus Christ is our hope. Let's give him a hand clap of praise. You may have went to bed last night and your, your situation may seem dire. You woke up this morning and it may seem the same way. And you're thinking to yourself, man, I just can't get ahead. But I want to tell you this morning and I want to encourage you with these words that Jesus Christ is about to show up. Just like he showed up to the disciples when all hope was gone, he's going to show up to you in your situation and he's going to speak peace into your life and tell you it's not over. So let me tell you this morning, it is not over. Let me go a step further and tell you that you are not the borrower. You 
you are uh, the lender. And you are not the tail, you are the head. And the Bible says we are more than conquerors through Jesus Christ. So you are a more than a conqueror today. Let me speak that into your spirit. I don't know what somebody is telling you. And I don't know what your, your, your life is showing you. But I want to speak life into you today and tell you that you are more than a conqueror. Amen. Amen. Matthew 19 and 26, the Bible says, But Jesus beheld them, them meaning the, the disciples, and he said unto them, With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Mm -hmm. Did you get that? With men things are impossible, but with God all things are possible. So everything that you're experiencing today, it falls under all things. So that means every single thing is possible through Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. You may be facing insurmountable odds. Man may have written you off. Everything and everybody around you may be saying your situation is too impossible to overcome. But with God, mm. B-U-T, but with God, all things are possible. What I'm trying to do today in the power of the Holy Ghost, I want your faith to rise. I want you, every word that I say, I want your faith to rise. I want you to step out of your comfort zone this morning. I want you to begin to speak life into every dead situation. I want you to speak life into every dead promise. I want you to speak life into every dead dream that hasn't come to pass. I want you to stand up, be bold in the Holy Ghost, and say, situation it's not over. Mm. Health situation it's not over. Life it's not over. I may not have accomplished things so far but it is not over. Mm. Amen. In the book of Mark chapter 5 28 through 29 the Bible says when she had heard of Jesus she mean the, the woman with the issue of blood. She came in to the press behind him and she touched his garment. For she said, if I may but touch his clothes, I shall be made whole. So we, we, we hear about that chapter and we talk about it and we preach about it. And, but it's the woman with the issue of blood. Now let's look at that for a minute. She had been to every physician. She had been going through this for years. So you could safely say that she was uh, financially secure because she was able to go to the physicians. She was able to get treated. She was able to look for you know, something to help her. But she had went to all these things and did all these things and seen all these people. And the Bible says she grew worse. In other words, she was dying. Let that seek in. She was dying. And all hope was gone. All right, she was dying. All hope, girl. Let me go a step further. She had tried every potion, every lotion, every recipe, every home remedy. She had tried everything and nothing worked. So she had nothing to lose by touching Jesus. Nothing to lose at all. The Bible says that she pressed her way through the crowd and she touched the hem of his garment. And instantly she was made whole. What man could not do, Jesus was able to do with one touch. So this morning, over the years, over the situation, over the circumstances that you've been going through, man may not have been able to remedy the situation. But one touch from the Lord God Almighty, one touch from the Holy Ghost, and everything will be all right. Mm. I don't know who I'm preaching to this morning. I don't know who I'm talking to you. Someone may have left your side and they may have uh, just, just abandoned you, but I want you to know that I want you to come out of your comfort zone mm. and I want you to press mm. and I want you to reach toward Jesus. And if you can just touch him this morning, mm. if you would just touch him this morning, if you would just open up your heart to him and touch him this morning, instantly, it will be all right. Mm -hmm. That's when you can say it's not over. That's when you can say that it is not over. When? When Jesus shows up. Mm. Is there anybody who could testify that Jesus came to you when all hope was gone? I could testify. I could tell you. I've been in a situation in my life where uh, all hope was gone. I did everything that I knew how to do physically. 
But when it was past my limitation, when I had went as far as I could go in this human body, I remember that I fell down on my knees one day. Hadn't prayed in a while, actually. I fell down on my knees. And I heard my grandmother, who was back in Alabama, actually, but I heard her voice speak to me loud and clear as I'm speaking right now. And it was just one word. The voice said, pray. Mm -hmm. And I hadn't prayed in a while, but I'm going to be honest with you. I rolled out of the bed a little reluctantly at first. And I fell down on my knees. And I'm, I'm, I'm remembering it as I go along. I fell down on my knees. I didn't know what to say. And just about the time I was trying to make up something to say or just to, because I didn't want to be sitting there on my knees. What I'm saying, if you don't remember anything else, remember these three words. It's not over. It's not over. If you could just say that to yourself a couple times, it's not over. Mm. Is there anybody here who knows if Jesus hadn't, came, hadn't come to you, You'd be caught up, messed up, hung up, and just, just totally out of it. But God knows when to show up. Mm. He, that, that, that's why he's an on-time God. He don't come just during the time. He comes on time. He's an on-time God. I thank him for being an on-time God this morning. I thank him for being the great I am. I thank him for being a miracle worker. I thank him for being God robed in the flesh. His name is Jesus and he, he is powerful. He's all knowing. He's omnipresent. He's here. He's in the past. He's in the present. He's in the future. There's nothing that you're going to face tomorrow that Jesus is not already there working it out. It's nothing that you're going to face today that he hasn't already ordered ordered in your in your words in his words he's ordered it already so be rest assured this morning that it is not over he'll come right into the midst of your storm he'll be your lawyer in a courtroom he'll be your doctor in a sick room He'll be your marriage counselor. He will come to you in the midst of the fiery furnace. He'll come to you and he'll come to you walking on the top of the storm. He'll walk through open doors. He'll walk through closed doors. He'll meet you in the lion's den. He'll walk through the raging waters. Whatever he needs to do to make you better and to make your situation better, he will do it. Amen. He is an on-time God. Mm. The disciples... They was walking with Jesus. They had been with him for a couple of years. They knew who he was, but in the midst of their storm, they took their eye off God. And Jesus began to walk out on their storm. He, he, he wasn't in the midst of the storm. He wasn't underneath the storm. He was walking on top of their situation. And every step he took, it lowered their, their, their situation and it lifted them up. I'm telling you, when God steps in, he lifts you up. When he steps in, he lifts you up. And that's why we lift our hands to him. That's why we lift our voice to him. That's why we praise him. Because he is the almighty God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Let me encourage some mother today. Or let me encourage some father today. Let me encourage you this morning. That this God that I'm talking about. This Jesus that I'm preaching about. This, this message that I'm talking about. Saying that it's not over. This Jesus. He will walk into the crack house this morning. He will walk into the bar. Where your son and your daughter is sitting. Or standing. And where they're at. And he will declare peace in their storm. The life that they're, they're, they're living. And in, in, in the situation that's raging in their life. God will speak to that situation this morning and the whole situation will dissipate. The whole situation will go away. Why? Because he walks on the storm. Mm -hmm. it's, not mm -hmm. it is not over. It is not over. He'll come to you in that troubled marriage. He'll walk through the walls. He'll call the storms and he'll tell them peace be still. He'll calm them and he'll declare peace unto you. Storm of the fears and, and, and of habits and addictions and abundance and emotional storms and physical storms, marital storm, family storm, financial storm. It doesn't matter what storm it is. He is over the storm and he will cease that storm. Why? Because he is the all-knowing, mm. almighty God. 
and he has not said it's over, so it is not over. John 19, 28 through 30 says this, After this, Jesus, knowing that all things were accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, he said, I thirst. Now there was set a vessel full of vinegar, and they filled it, the sponge with vinegar, and they put it upon hyssop, and they put it in his mouth. And when Jesus therefore had received the vinegar, he said, it is finished. And he bowed his head, and he gave up the ghost. I want to tell us this morning, Jesus died for you, and he died for me. I don't care how bad it looks. I don't care how far you think you've gone. I don't know how, how, how locked down you've been or how long you've been secluded. Jesus will come right through your situation, situation and he will deliver you this morning. It's not finished until he says it's finished. When he says it's finished, he's going to make all things better. He's not going to end it until all things are better. So whatever you've been struggling with, Jesus has already nailed it to the cross. I want to say that again. Whatever you've been struggling with, Jesus has already nailed it to the cross. And when he nailed it to the cross, when he hung his head, when he died, when he gave up the ghost, and when he rose again, he rose with all power of death, hell, and the grave in his hand. He got the keys to life. And when he says it's over, it's over. But until then, be encouraged. God is working it out. Be encouraged. God is working it out. Somebody I'm speaking to this morning, I don't care right where you're at, right where you're sitting, right where you're at, you ought to lift up your hands right now and you ought to begin to praise him because you ought to begin to feel the Holy Ghost moving in your situation. Mm. God, you cannot worship him. You cannot have faith in him. You cannot trust in him and him and God not move. So right where you're at, I'm going to ask you, just lift up a hand right now. Just lift up a voice right now. You don't have to say an elaborate prayer. Just say, God, you know the situation I'm going through right now. Mm. You know I may be at the end of my rope, but God, you said it's not over. And because you said it's not over, I trust in you. I trust in your word. I stand on your promise this morning. God, make a way out of no way. Do what you do better, God. Decrease me that you may increase. Have your way, Lord. Come on, let's worship him right now. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Deliverance is coming. Understand what I'm saying. Deliverance is coming to somebody right now. It's coming to somebody right now. Trust in him. Just trust in him. Healing is coming to somebody right now. Believe in the word of God. Believe in the word of God. Stand on his word. Stand on his promise. Oh, hallelujah. Mm. Let me speak this to you. You've been wrestling with this bondage. I don't know who I'm talking to. You've been wrestling with this bondage. You've been wrestling with this addiction for a long time. But I want to tell you this morning, the power of the Holy Ghost, that your deliverer has just arrived. Mm. Your deliverer has just arrived. It's not over because your deliverer has just arrived arrive. The marriage counselor that you so desperately need, he just walked into your room. That marriage that need a touch from God, the marriage counselor, the great I am, just walked into your room. Somebody's ministry. I know you made a mistake. I, I, I know you did something that, 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 that caused you to some embarrassment and I understand that, but let me speak this to you right now. God is going to restore what the canker worms and the caterpillars mm. has taken, what the things that have died out in your life when people have cast you to the side and has written you off and told you that you know you can't come back from this that's a lie from the pits of hell mm. God is telling you today that it's not over he's going to restore you this morning he's going to restore you today he's going to restore you right now somebody this morning need to stand up in the gap for your children you need to stand in the gap right now and say God I know that they're living this way and they're living that way but Jesus you said in your word that you would intercede and I ask you God to intercede right now 
It looked like the doors are shut on their life. It looked like everything is thrown away. But I'm telling you, God is going to turn it around. Mm. There's a turnaround in the atmosphere this morning. There's a turnaround in the atmosphere right now. Not because of me, but because God is turning it around. I want you to believe that this morning. And I want you, as we get ready to close out, I want you to lift up your hands wherever you're at. If you're driving, please don't do that. But if you're driving, you can talk. But if you're somewhere stationary, I want you to lift up your hands right now. And I want you to say, God, if this word is for me, God, I repent of my sins right now. And God, I know that I've been going through some things. But Lord, I ask you right now that if you would just come into my atmosphere, if you would come into my circumstance, if you would come into my situation, God, that you will move in my life right now, oh God. I pray, Jesus, Lord, that whoever have their hands lifted up, whoever's reaching out to you this morning, and God, I pray just like the woman with the issue of blood, I pray, Lord, that you turn around and say, who touched me? And say, you be thou healed. Be thou delivered. Be thou set free in the name of Jesus. Come on, let's lift up our hands. Let's lift up our voice to him. Let's give my hand clap of praise in this place right now. God, we thank you. We bless you. God, we give you honor. We give you glory. Hallelujah, Jesus. We give you, bless you. Bless you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. That's the name that's above every name. The Bible says that the name of Jesus, every Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. I'm going to tell you right now as I close. I don't have to wait till then. I'm going to confess right now. Lord, you're my God. You're my Savior. And with you, all things are possible. And I know in your word and because of your word, it is not over. Amen. Give the Lord another hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. Wow, that was a wonderful message. I hope y'all got something out of it. Remember, it's not over. Whatever you're going through, God's got it. Just put it in his hands. Um, I thank everybody for tuning in to It's Time for Change Ministries. Um, I, I pray you got blessed. I know I did. It was definitely a word from God, something I needed for myself as well. Um, every Sunday, tune in, 9 a.m. Central Time, 10 a.m. Eastern, and 7 a.m. Pacific Time. It's time for change on YouTube. It's time underscore for change on Twitter. And it's time for change on Instagram. Again, I thank y'all for tuning in. And welcome to It's Time for Change Ministries. <laughs>